Hi everyone, Miss Dolman here. Hope you're all okay. Not long to go now until we're back at school. Yes. Can't wait to see you all. And we're on another numeracy lesson today on multiplication. So let's begin. So today's lesson, our target is I can solve multiplication sentences using pictures. To be successful in this lesson, we need to read the question. Count how many are in each group. Count how many groups there are and then complete the sentences. So let's begin. We've been looking at multiplication for the last few lessons and we've learned about the sign for multiplication. Can you remember it? That's right, it looks like this. We've looked at equal groups, groups of, repeated addition and arrays. I've mentioned the word lots of and today you'll come across lots of and multiplied by. Okay, so your starter is multiplication as repeated addition. This is on the Snappy Maths website. You can get the website address at the top of the video right now, or it is on the slides that I've been showing you. Um, we've never done this before, so it's slightly different. We look at each set of pictures and we fill in the empty repeated addition and multiplication boxes. So you will need to use the keyboard in order to fill out the answers today. So you press the start. There's no time. Okay, so there's no time pressure. And then the first box is the repeated addition. So we have a look at how, count how many in each group. So there's one, two, three, four, five in each group. So it's five plus. Now, we don't leave any spaces between anything. So it's five plus another five plus another five. And then I count in fives, five, 10, 15. And I put it in my, uh, e after my equals. So something multiplied by something equals 15 because we know that's our answer so you need to say how many are in each group first which is five and then how many groups there are three if you do it the other way around the computer does not like it and marked it as wrong even though multiplication is something that we call commutative where it doesn't matter whether you're at five times three or three times five you still get the same answer but with this game, for some reason, it doesn't like it. So it's how many in each group first, then how many groups. Then check your answer and you go on to the next one. And that is that. So we're going to complete the sentences. So how many in each group? One, two, three. How many groups? One, two, three. You can count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 individually, or you can count them in threes. 3, 6, 9. We have 3 lots of 3, which equal 9, and 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. So there's three different ways that you can record your answer, but they all mean exactly the same. So read the question, so we're going to complete. We're going to count how many are in each group. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to count how many groups we have. One, two, three. And then we're going to add them up. So we can count them individually, like one, two, three, four, five. But like I said before, it just takes too long and I know how to count my fives. So five, ten, fifteen. So something lots of five, well we've already got the five, so we need to put three here. So three lots of five and our answer is 15. And three multiplied by five equals 15. So again, we're learning about writing different sentences to tell us the, the same thing today. So going to complete this one. So remember we're counting how many in each group, one, two, three, four. And count in how many groups? One, two, three. Add them all up. So you can count individually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or you can count in fours, or you can count in threes. 
something lots of 4, we have 3 lots of 4, the 4 is already here, so it's a 3 lots of 4, look it's written a different way but you still get the same answer 12 and you multiplied 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12 or 4 multiplied by 3 equals 12, it doesn't matter which way around you do it for that one. The only reason it does for this one is because the 4 is already there. So complete, so we count each group, how many in each group, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, how many groups, 1, 2, 3, you've got 6 times 3. So if you're not sure on how to count any 3's or your 6's, just count them individually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We've already got the 6 in this sentence, so it's 3 lots of 6 equals 18, and 3 multiplied by 6 equals 18, or 6 multiplied by 3 equals 18, doesn't matter which one you choose there, because they are commutative. Now it's your turn. Complete the worksheet. Remember to follow the steps to success to be able to complete it successfully. So. Look at how many are on each group and how many groups you have and then fill in the sentences. Then when you get to question number two, you're going to then draw groups to show 10 lots of two. Pause this video whilst you do your working out. How did you find that? Here are the answers. So pause the video whilst you're ticking or fixing. So we're going to complete using the less than, greater than or equals to sign. Yet again, as I always say when we are comparing and doing a comparison, we need to be able to work out the answers before we can actually compare them. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 2 times 5, well I can count in 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is also 10. But you can do your groups of, so you could have two groups, one, two, and five in each group, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Then I add them up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they are equals to, because they are the same answers. Then we've got three lots of four, so we're going to do three groups. One, two, three, and I'm going to do four in each group. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then add them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the answer for this one is 12. Then here we've got two lots of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, I already know that's 10 because I've already worked it out. So I could count it all again, or if I know that's the answer, I'm going to leave it at that, which means 12 is greater than 10. It's bigger. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then 3 multiplied by 3. So again you can do groups of 1, 2, 3 and then 3 in each group 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 and then add them up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 6 is smaller than 9 is less than 9 Make sure when you are drawing your circles for your groups, you don't make them too small, which makes them hard to be able to count what's inside them. And again, don't make them too big because then you're just wasting paper. Okay. Here is your next task. So again, you need to complete the sentences. And then for question number two, you need to use the correct symbol to, ma to make the picture statements correct. So you're using less than more than or equals to to make the picture statements correct so pause the video and off you go and here are the answers so pause the video whilst you are marking ticking or fixing your answers 
5 times 3 is the same as 5 lots of 3. Is that true or false? So why don't you work out both answers here to help you and then explain your answers of why it's true or why it's false. Pause the video whilst you're doing that. 5 times 3 is the same as 5 lots of 3. It's just another way of saying it, so it's true. 5 times 3 is the same as 5 lots of 3 or 3 fives. 5 times 3 equals 15 and 5 lots of 3 equals 15. You can say it in lots of different ways like we've done this whole lesson and it still means that we have the same answers. Hopefully you got that right. And now it's your turn. So again, you need to choose a correct symbol to make the picture statements correct, less than, more than or equal to. Then you need to complete the table below. There's some uh, missing sentences that need filling in and some missing multiplication. There's also a true or false question like I just modelled to you. And then on the second sheet there is a problem solving question to do a word problem where you need to show me what the multiplication sentence and answer is and then you need to draw a picture to represent this. So pause the video and off you go. How did you find that? Well pause the video, tick or fix, see how you got on. Remember if you didn't do very well then that's absolutely okay. Just have another go. See where you went wrong. Write a sensible story for the calculation 6 times 3 equals 18 and draw a picture to represent this, to show this. Here's my example. There are six plates. There are three bananas in each plate. There are 18 bananas all together. So, you pick a calculation and the first number, you need to make it an amount of something in groups. Plates, hula hoops, up to you. Then there needs to be a certain amount in each group and then the last sentence is your answer. Now it's your turn. I would like you to write a story once you've picked a calculation card to base your story on and then you need to show me the calculation and the answer and then draw a picture to represent your story and you can do as many of these as you like but you must do at least one. So your target today was I can solve multiplication sentences using pictures. How did you find this lesson? Did you meet the criteria? Choose your emoji face. Did you read the question carefully? Give yourself a tick if you did. Did you count how many were in each group? Did you count how many groups? And then completed the sentences. And that's the end of our lesson. Don't forget to share your work with us in school. Thank you to everyone who's sent their work in so far. You can send your work to us by taking a photo and WhatsApping it to the school mobile that you can see on the screen there. You can also send the work through email. It's year three. And you can also, while you're out for a walk, post to our school post box. Whichever way works for you is great with me, but we just love seeing your work and how you're getting on. So stay safe, everybody. We're back in school very, very soon. And that's bye from me.